All right, welcome to webinar number 16, if my count is correct. <laughs> all right, so for all of you that have uh, attended all the webinars, thank you for your attention this week, appreciate it. Again, my name is Bill Gentz. I'm the Sales and Technical Director here at Top Solid USA. I'm joined by Joe Hart, if you can figure out how to make this headset work, our technical manager, and Hello. Okay, our sales manager. All right, here we go. So. In this last webinar, um, we're going to talk about some new features that are available now in Top Cell for the cam. So let's go find it and we'll just dig right in. So there is some new features available for uh, grinding. Okay. So the first one we'll talk about is grinding by facing. You see that there's a new tab for it up here. So you have four different methodologies, grinding, you have grinding by contouring, grinding by facing, grinding, or pardon me, cylindrical grinding by contouring, cylindrical grinding by facing, grinding by contouring, grinding, uh, grinding by facing. This also means, by the way, that, oops, let's go to the right one. This also means, by the way, that you have new tool types and tool definitions to work with. Okay, now, as far as how they work, it works just like any other uh, cam operation in Top Solid 7 today. So I have to roll back here for fun and giggles. If I right click on here, you'll see I can do grinding by facing. Cool. Because I have a cylindrical grinding tool already defined, it starts making my tool path for me. You have your feeds and speeds that you would set. Right now the feed rate is very slow. <laughs> we'll do something. And then as far as the operation is concerned, it's very similar to setting up a facing routine in top cell. Okay, so you have your number of passes or maximum axial depth of cut. You have your step over, okay? But the only thing that gets more interesting is you have some specific cycles and options for how the tool path works, all right? So you can control the grinding tool path. Um, I think I see a question popping up. Do any of the grinding features require, require grinding cycles to be present on the machine? For example, if a machine wasn't purchased with grinding in mind, there are a lot of features missing. Can Top Solid make up for that? Uh, that's a great question that uh, I don't really know the answer to yet because it's a brand new command for us. So uh, to my knowledge, it can be run as longhand code or potentially with a cycle, okay? Um, but until we get some experience out there with this, I, I can't really answer that. Okay, doke. So that's grinding by facing. If we go to grinding by contouring, I'll bet you guys see where this is going. Select a face to apply your grinding to, and you can see how the tool path functions. Okay. Again, similar controls. You want to go from the top down, from the bottom up. All right. Or, you know, Regarding the rest of the operations, it's very similar to contouring, okay? If we watch a simulation of this, I suppose, so you can see. Okay. And then from there, you have cylindrical grinding as well. By facing, by contouring. Okay, logical grinding by contouring as well. And again, um, we'll have to work with you guys to have some experience on how this works, but it should be pretty straightforward. Okie dokie. So some of you may notice that there's a robotics folder there. There is robotics coming to the future of Top Solid. Uh, we're not quite ready to show it just yet. We're doing some testing in France, and I want to say Germany, um, but it will be available soon, and I'll have more details to come. The last thing to talk about, uh, it has to do with the Top Solid Cam Operator, I believe. Go down to here. So, Top Solid Cam Operator, for those of you who aren't familiar with it, 
Uh, top solid cam operator is uh, a standalone product that allows people on the shop floor access to cam files to potentially post processing those files to running the simulations, the verifications and what have you. And even to making some standard or I should say some minor changes to the tool path, recalculate it and go. So some of the updates for this year is you now have the option to switch between tablet and touchscreen mode versus a keyboard and mouse mode. So if you're using a tablet out on the shop floor with this stuff, you want to enable all of the touch capabilities. If you're using a mouse and keyboard, you want to have that enabled instead. All right, it's just done in tools options. Um, management of editable parameters by the PDM admin. This can now be set up in the PDM by the admin. And if you notice in last year's version, again, if you're familiar with this, we only had a handful of ways to manipulate what they can control. Now you can really dig in and choose what the operators have access to, what they can see, what they can turn on, what they can turn off. Okay. And you now also have an option to display a list of draft, doc, uh, draft documents or setup sheets associated with the machining documents. So you'll see an icon right there in the field and you can do this. I think that's it for those. Oh, nope, we changed the machine tree as well a little bit. Okay. But again, this stuff is for cam operator. I don't, I don't know if any of you guys are using it yet. If you're interested in it, we can talk about it. And then for the post processors, the only thing that uh, there's to talk about, I mentioned this earlier, but I'll show you pretty pictures. If we're going to use this custom coolant command, we have to hook it up in the post processor. You know, I'm going to say this again because the at the end of the day, um, being able to drive your machines correctly using the right cutting conditions, most importantly, using the right coolant types and settings is very important it's for some of the advanced machines that have a uh, very deep control of what you can do with coolant, this new technology will become really, really useful for those types of machines and users, okay? So this last one was pretty fast. Um, does anyone have any questions on any of that or anything that we went over in the past few days that they want me to retouch on, for example? Happy to answer questions. Right, I'm not seeing anything really coming up. So again, last webinar was short. There's only a couple of new things to talk about. I appreciate everyone taking the time today to be part of this and this week. If you have any questions on 716, by all means, reach out to the support team. We're here to help and uh, we'll talk to you all real soon.